Good day. I'm comparing four stocks today. We have to make this a little bit quick. Kraft Heinz Foods has a price of $40.41, a yield of 3.96. Earnings per share are 0.29 cents, and the dividend is 40 cents quarterly. If I were to limit order that the uh, and, and put the price down a little bit, the yield instead of being $3, 3.96% would be a little higher. LTC has a decent yield, that's a REIT. It's uh, $42.94. It's got a beta 0 0.96, a yield of 5.31%. Uh, and the beta of uh, Kraft Heinz, I didn't mention, it's uh, 119, so it's a better beta. Earnings per share is $2.42 with a 19 cent monthly dividend. I like the monthly dividends because you can reinvest them faster. Going on to BG Foods, which is a food company, it's $29.83, which is a much lower price. It's got a 0.47 beta. I like a smaller beta and a lower price. Earnings per share is $2.04. You can't beat that. And the quarterly dividend is 0.475. Quarterly dividend. It's a good stock with a decent yield, but it pays quarterly. So you need to have two other quarterlies to balance it out and then you can reinvest the dividends. Now, Coca-Cola is the most expensive of the four stocks. They're $54.47 and it's got a 0.62 beta. So that's a little bit, that's a little higher than BG Foods, but less than the other two. The, the yield is only 3.08%. If you put in, a limit order, say at uh, 52, you could bring the, the yield up a little bit. The earnings per share is $1.67, which is a decent earnings per share. And the quarterly dividend is 42 cents. That was up from uh, 41 cents a couple quarters earlier. So is it a decent stock? Oh, they were having some back, Coca-Cola was having a little bit backlash lately because they, they were doing some diversity training stuff and they were trying to tell people to be a little less white. There were some people that made on the internet, there were a couple songs talking about being less white. They're all mocking Coca-Cola. The diversity training might draw down the price of the stock. It may have to be, you know, I was thinking of shorting Coca-Cola because of their, uh, they were trying to do something against Georgia or something, okay? And it's looking like a lot of people are going to start boycotting Coca-Cola and drinking Pepsi. Especially that, that, that guy online, he made a little video, a song, a country song about being less white and he's going to drink Pepsi. I don't know if it's serious or not, but when you start telling people that they have to be less of whatever race they are, that looks like inherent racism. That's following the fact that in 1924, July 4th, 1924 uh one particular coca-cola i saw the sign online that said that they gave some carbonated beverage to the ku klux klan so 100 years ago they were according to what i saw online which i wasn't there personally supporting the ku klux klan with some carbonated beverage they may not have it could have been some spoof right now based on the numbers 3.8 percent 3.08 percent yield I, I like BG's Foods of 6.37 yield. I like LTC Reed at 5.31 yield. And I like uh, Kraft Heinz yield of 3.96 versus 3.08% of Coca-Cola. Although Kraft Heinz is a little bit low on the yield, like I said, put in a limit order. So I'm going to wrap this video up. So peace out. Live long and prosper. God bless America. God bless America. Have a jolly good day and... God bless you, God bless me, God bless America.